This is the solution video for section 2.3, problem number 13. All right, so h of theta equals cotangent theta plus cosecant theta times the quantity tangent theta minus sine theta. Once again, it says hint, simplify first. So I'm going to rewrite h of theta. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to multiply this thing out. So I'm going to distribute. So cotangent theta times tangent theta minus cotangent theta times sine theta plus cosecant theta times tangent theta and then minus cosecant theta times sine theta. All right, so I've multiplied it out, but I haven't simplified it. All right, so I want to simplify. So once again, this is still h of theta. I have not taken the derivative yet. So cotangent times tangent. Well, we should realize that cotangent is 1 over tangent theta times tangent theta. And so that's nice because those will simplify. Cotangent times sine. Well, cotangent, remember, is cosine theta over sine theta. And then I have times sine theta, so something will simplify there. Plus cosecant. Well, cosecant is 1 over sine theta. And tangent is sine theta over cosine theta. So something will simplify there. And then minus cosecant and sine. Well, remember, cosecant is 1 over sine theta times sine theta. So something will simplify there. All right, so h of theta then is what? All right, so 1 over tangent times tangent, that's just 1. Minus uh, cosine over sine times sine. Well, the sines reduce, that is just cosine. Plus. 1 over sine times sine over cosine, those reduce. That's 1 over cosine, which is actually secant theta. And then I have minus 1 over sine times sine. The sines, of course, reduce there, and I get just minus 1. So the 1 minus 1, those actually subtract out. So h of theta in its simplest form is just negative cosine theta plus secant theta. All right, so now I'm ready to take the derivative. So h prime of theta. All right, so what is the derivative of negative cosine? So this is like negative, remember, this is like a negative 1 here. So negative 1 times the derivative of cosine. What's the derivative of cosine? Negative sine theta plus derivative of secant theta. Remember, that is secant theta tangent theta. All right, and so now clean it up just a little bit and rewrite. Instead of negative 1 times negative sine, we just have positive sine theta plus secant theta tangent theta.